show that teaches you Japanese while traveling. Meet and speak. Last time, our three friends traveled to Nagano. Now they're returning to Tokyo for some sightseeing. Exploring Ueno. From Matsumoto Station, they catch a limited express train back to Tokyo. It's raining in Tokyo. The trio have made plans to meet at Ueno Station. Nice and break. Sorry to keep you waiting. That's fine. Did you have a haircut, Kelly? Yeah, since uh, it's a big city, I thought I'd call my hair at a stylish hair salon. By the way, where are we? Okay, Koko and Tokyo go away for this. There is also a big park over there with a zoo inside. <gasps> oh, a zoo! I haven't been in a long time. I know! <laughs> Shall we go? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Lots of art museums, historical museums, and theaters. You can find all sorts of contemporary and modern art exhibitions. There's always something new. And Winnow Park is full of trees. In the spring, cherry trees blossom and fill the park with their distinctive color. Winnow nurtures both nature and art, and it has long been known as a place where the public can relax and enjoy. Yeah, this is, is this a park center? Hi. Now, let's study Japanese you can use when you're on a trip. First, let's introduce a new word. Hi. English wa Nihongo de Ego to Imas. So, here's our new phrase for the day. Dobutsu wa eigo de nat to imasu ka? Anima to This phrase is super useful when you want to learn or just double check the meaning of a Japanese word. Eigo de nat to imasu ka? Let's watch the video again. Can you guess what is Dobutsu? Well, Kathy, you can ask in Japanese. You're good. Dobutsu is animal. Oh, okay. Remember the pronouns we studied? What word do we use when we're right next to something or when we're sharing it with our conversational partner? Kore. And when it's a place? Koko. What about when we're talking about something that's far away from us? Are. And how about a distant place? Asoko. Okay, let's hoping for a glimpse of this adorable panda. On a busy day, around 30,000 people visit. Despite the rain, they still manage to see the pandas. Next up is Monkey Mountain, the first of its kind built in Japan. Visitors can watch Japanese monkeys running wild on this rocky, man-made structure. Kathy and Amy haven't been to the zoo in a long time. They feel like kids again. Next, our friends visit Ameyayokocho, or Ameyoko for short. It's a shopping shop. 
Amayoko is about 400 meters south of Bueno Station, and over 400 shops pack the narrow street. This lively street is lined with many grocery and specialty stores, and they offer special discounts. If you walk along the main street, it's only a matter of time before you see a bargain sale. A thousand yen for all the sweets that fit in a bag. Walking through the shopping street, they come across a fruit shop. Oh, wow, so many! Look at the grapes! Wow! wow. This, is this is really big. Fruit is nothing. For shops that specialize in one thing, you can take the name of that thing and add ya. For example, Kudamono ya. Add san at the end to be extra polite. At this fruit store, you can buy fruit skewers. Amy buys a green melon skewer for 100 yen. Kathy buys orange melon that costs 200 yen. It's delicious. It's so good. Juicy. You both like sweet things? We do. We do. Time for our hiragana and pronunciation lesson. Today we're going to study the za line. Now let's read this line of new hiragana letters. Za, za, ji, ji, du, du, ze, ze. from 1 to 10 have two different readings. 4, 7, and 9 all have special readings. Yo, nana, cute. As we explained before, we'll call these readings. Number set A. When you use this, you can line the numbers up in three columns like this. Now when you have 100, you don't say ichi hyaku in Japanese. Hyaku. Gohyaku. Now let's review today's lesson. If you want to ask the meaning of a Japanese word or make sure you know it, use this expression. We studied words for places. When pointing to something far, well, that's all for today's lesson. The last place our three friends visit is an unconventional clothing store. Cedric tries on a jacket decorated with golden carp. How does it look on him? Where will our trip take us next? Don't forget to visit the Meet and Speak website for additional content.